Number 33 in the Italian collection is The Long Hair of Death from 1964. This was a rather strange one. I knew literally nothing going into it. was a little bit surprised to find this uh, black and white 15th century set horror movie that felt a little bit like a melodrama but had lots of uh, ghostly, ghoulish works throughout it as well, which I really appreciated. And you open up to the story of a woman being burned at the stake. She has just uh, fraudulently been accused of being a witch um, because someone has died. And one of her relatives is trying to dissuade the ruler of this land to doing it. He, of course, just uses her for sex and by the time he's finished, she's already been burnt and it's too late. And as the woman's burning on the stake, she puts a curse on this family, this estate, the people all around it, um, because of their wrongful actions. And the movie kind of jumps a period of time as we're introduced to some other characters as we realise that the king's son is a real bad apple and the man that caused the death, uh, which the witch was blamed for. And then the effects of the curse start to take toll. The king falls ill. Uh, the, the person who was uh, behind the killings in the start is ultimately going to get the revenge of this ghost. There is... Um, the return uh, of, of the woman that was used for sex at the start, but she was murdered by the king, so her coming back is a bit of a shock to the system. There's a forced marriage as he, uh, the, the young son of the king, wants to marry um, the daughter of the woman that was burned at the stake. It's very melodramatic in the way it all fits together, much like a soap opera. But as these pieces fit together, it creates a really rich story. You get the idea of this family and how kind of uh, corrupt they are because of the wealth and the power that they have and the inclusion of some people who are very fueled by revenge starts to really niggle at the heart of this family. Now the production values were absolutely stunning on this one. I loved um, quite a lot of the look. The fact that the castle is really terrific. The mystery at the heart of the movie really kept me going forward. I wasn't quite sure what I was getting. It felt like love triangles and kill somebody off so I can go with somebody else. But it was all an essence of the curse that was left behind. And we have Barbara Steele in this one who was in Black Sunday and she is one of the characters who has a lot to do in this movie and she does it with a great deal of aplomb and, and kind of gravitas to her role, giving it the necessary juice to really make this thing flow forward. I thought the black and white element of it really added to the kind of feeling of the movie, giving the nooks and crannies of this castle real depth and really adding to the atmosphere. There's multiple scenes of um, coffins and a crypt-like uh, area which is really kind of off kilter and twisted. There's some nice uh, moments in it as well, it's particularly the revenge and why everything has transpired that really kept me on the tip of my toes and surprised by what happened. I didn't guess everything that was going on. In fact, I wasn't too worried about it. I was too uh, involved in the story to really worry about much of the mystery, although I was curious as where it was going. Looks great, wonderful transfer, the production values are immense, I really liked everything about the castle, I loved the sordid um, telenovela feel about the family and their story and how they went about it and all the way that it interlocked dramatically. And I just had a great deal of fun with The Long Hair of Death. I mean, it's only a 12. It's not particularly gruesome, um, but it doesn't need to be. When the story's as captivating as it is, it's enough sometimes. Really quite happy with this one, really quite interested, and one that I can recommend if you're interested in these kind of movies. Love to know your thoughts on The Long Hair of Death. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.